You want to find physical health, mental wellness, and community? Start running. While it can be a solo sport, there are also supportive individuals and events that can bring true change to your life. And today, we're talking about the movement journey of She Runs. The series of races coming to GR at the end of September. So training starts now. We got Felicia, the race director. Sammy is the She Trains coach <laughs> and the She Runs GR ambassador. Ladies, thanks yes. so much for being here. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, Felicia, let's talk about this event to start. Right. There's some changes this year. Lots of changes. Okay. Um, anyone who's been a part of it before obviously knows that this race was in in April and it is now <laughs> going to be in September so lots of changes there the race is September 29th moving it to a later fall race just better training conditions for the women this is an all-female race and so why are we making these women run in the winter in the cold doesn't it's make not sense fun. <laughs> so, I've been there. and I am not I don't like to do that no. so anyway push the race date um, just to make it for better training conditions and then move to John Ball Park the park is beautiful it's such a sense of community it's locally placed it's on bus routes making it easily accessible for all of our families wanting to be a part of it wonderful so yeah we're very excited okay so when there's there's several choices and then there's walks and runs like this is not a, a oh, full yes. out you know you have to do a marathon let's talk no, about no, no. options <laughs> So similar to the years prior, there's a 5K, a 10K, and a half marathon, and it's a run walk. So anyone who wants to come be a part of it, please come be a part of it. We are really looking at walking and running and just moving your body as a is just a different way of fitness. And as this race evolves, you know, this is the 12th year it's been put on, um, but as the race evolves to keep up with the needs of the city, we are making sure that we're lowering barriers of entry and making space for every she that wants to be a part of this race. So check it out, whether you're a walker, a runner, or want to be a part of my team Triumph, they're back again this year as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and community is really what it's all about. Accessibility, community. Sam, let's talk about training because, you know, this can be intimidating. Some people for a race, it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but there is, you're going to be holding people's hand through this. There's yeah. this opportunity to train with a group. Let's talk about that. Yeah. We are so excited to launch She Trains, which is new this year as well as with the move. Um, and essentially, yeah, we want to create as much access to mm -hmm. this race as possible. And I think the, ra the, the term race and run mm -hmm. can be very intimidating and also almost disqualify so many people in their mindset. So we really want to reframe that. She Trains is for everyone. Uh, we have developed three different training programs to start at the beginner level. We have kind of a maintenance as well as maybe a competitive. So it can hold all different types of levels. And truly, if you want to come do this thing, walk, run, do a variation. Um, I'm there to guide and also help people in their individual fitness journeys, meet them where they're at so that they can feel like they can participate. Yeah. And so let's talk about if people want to be a part of this organized training program, because you have kind of the online, the virtual yes. training, but you also have an in-person where you're going to meet people and, yeah. and go through this together because it makes it yes. so much better. So let's yeah. talk about that. So our programs online. So anyone who's interested, we just launched them on Friday. So they're online. Go check them out. We have a free 5K, 10K, and half marathon training. So if you are a beginner, we have a ton of new, um, a new newbies that join this race, which is so fun, um, go online, check it out. If you want to, um, you know, train a little bit harder, meet some friends, really get it, like plugged into the community as you're training for this half marathon, check out She Trains. Okay. Um, it's for that half marathon distance. And what I love about Sammy and all of the wealth and knowledge that she brings to this uh, program is she, we're going to talk about what it feels like to train for a half marathon as a female. We're going to talk about all of the things that as a mom, as a business owner, as you know, you're coming back to running after just having a baby on your menstrual cycle. What does that look like and feel like for a woman? Let's talk about it. And so she's going to be leading all of that and uh, working with our half marathon runners through that program. So Love it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. And how important is it to have that community support? It's so important. We have found, I've been in this industry for a little while now, a few <laughs> years, and also a mental health advocate. And having the community support is so uplifting and also brings a lot of accountability and just strength and confidence in your own individual journey while doing it with other people. And we have all different types of, of women in our community mm -hmm. having all of these different stories in their brains. And it's really beautiful to kind of come together and go, oh, wait, this solo thing that I thought I was experiencing actually exists mm -hmm. amongst a lot of us. Yeah. And that coming together, just it's, it's something, it's unmatched. So 
We have in-person group meetups once a week, every Saturday, starting June 22nd. Um, you'll have access to your training plan, access to me for questions, but we'll always have that group meetup every Saturday. Yeah. And we're varying the different neighborhoods that we're running in and providing routes and water stations. So there's a lot of diversity in the, the routes that you're running, but also different areas. And bringing that accessibility, too, for the training throughout the yeah. week when we're not together yeah. is also instills so much confidence to go do the thing or to gather some friends as well and run together and have access to these different neighborhoods. I love it. I love it yeah. so much. And yeah, the actual half marathon, it goes through Millennium Park. It looks oh. beautiful. It's very accessible for it people. Is. So lots and lots to look forward to this yes. September. So yes. if you want to learn more about this run, people can enter the run right now. Yes, registration is open yep. and definitely check out the routes. The routes are going to be online. A little bit different this year is, you know, the 5K and 10K um, start and stop at John Ball Park, just like the half marathon, but the half marathon is going to jump on some trails. Yeah. And so, um, you know, check out the routes, make sure that it makes sense for you, but it's there. Sign up. Perfect. Come be a part of it. There you go, and be a part of the training program as well. So she runs gr.com. You want more information, you want to register. 5K, 10K, half marathon coming up September 29th. We'll be right